Hey guys, welcome back to another quick Premiere Pro tutorial. My name is Beth with Handcraft Films and today we are talking about how to fade audio in and out in Premiere Pro. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your audio track down here in your sequence already. You can see that I have already dragged mine down here, so I'm not going to do it again, but here it is right here. Um, if I hit spacebar, you can go ahead and hear the music playing. So let's say that we want to fade this audio in so it doesn't start quite as loud. One way that you can do this is to go ahead and make sure that you have your audio track selected. Go up here to your effects window. If you don't see this window, come on up here to window and make sure that effects is checked here. Once you see that, you're going to open up this audio transitions folder, open up your crossfade folder here, and you're going to see three options. The difference between these three crossfades, um, constant gain right here is going to give you a constant volume change. So you're going to go in a straight line from zero to where you want your audio to come in, in a straight line just like that versus constant power and exponential fade are both working like a curve. So your audio is going to start to come in really slow and then gradually it's gonna curve up and come in faster. Um, and so that curve is gonna make the transition a little bit smoother, a little bit more natural. And the same is true when you're fading out. There are times if constant power and exponential fade are just not working, that you might wanna try constant gain. Um, it can work from time to time. But for the most part, I stick with these two. Exponential fade is really great for editing dialogue. If you're trying to eliminate little pauses in the dialogue when someone is speaking or you're trying to get rid of an um or a, a little word here or there without it being obvious, exponential fade is a great tool for that. So coming back up here, let's talk about how we can put this effect on our audio track down here. So make sure your track is selected and you can come up here to effects and you can drag it on there. That's one way to do this. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that. I'm just going to select that and delete it so I can show you one other way. There is a keyboard shortcut. Make sure that your track is selected and you're going to hit shift command D and that will automatically put this effect on your track at the beginning and also as you can see here it is at the end. If you want this effect to be shorter or longer it's pretty easy. You just pick up the edge there and you can drag it to where you'd like the music to actually come in or out. Let's say that you want to use this transition to uh, put two clips of music together or maybe to take part of this music track out. What I want to do is zoom in. I'm going to make a cut right here by hitting C on my keyboard and making a cut. And then let's just come right down here, make another cut. I'm going to hit V to grab my select tool and select this clip, delete it. Now I'm going to bring these two clips back together. If I just left them like that, there would be a weird kind of jumpy um, sound right here. It wouldn't sound natural in the music. So to smooth that out, you can use the same transition, the crossfade. So I'm going to try it with the constant power here. And basically what it does at the same time that this track, the audio is fading out, the audio from this track is fading in. So they're crossing over each other and it's just making that transition a little bit smoother so you don't notice that there's a cut right here between your music. If you want to make that transition longer, you can simply drag that out. And sometimes that makes the transition even better. Um, if you wanna make it shorter, you can simply drag it in as well. So you can see that effect is really easy to use. Up here, you'll see exactly what I was talking about, how this volume coming in is coming in at a curve and the volume coming out from the other track is going out at a curve. Um, that is the difference between the constant power and the constant gain. Now that we have looked at this effect and how easy it is to use, let me show you how you can do the same thing manually. And sometimes this can give you a little bit more control over your audio. So if I select this effect and delete it, I'm going to come back here to the beginning, delete this one as well. What we need to do is create a couple of keyframes. And the way that you do this is just by hitting P on your keyboard. That's going to give you this pen tool. You can also click over here and select the pen tool. And then you're going to click, let's pick where we want our audio to come in at full volume. So let's say we want it to be full volume right here at this point. I'm going to go ahead and make a point right there. 
and let's make another point where we want our volume to start coming in. So I created another point down here at the beginning and I just dragged it all the way down so that my volume is zero. And then you can see as we play, our volume is slowly coming in. Let's say that I want it to come in a little bit quicker. I'm gonna pick up this point and I'm gonna simply drag it to come in a little bit sooner. As you can see, while I was dragging it, this volume level was kind of bouncing around up and down, not staying steady. If you want this to stay steady as you drag it in, all you have to do is as you select this pin, make sure you touch your shift key and hold that down. And as you drag, this volume is not gonna go up or down. It'll stay where it is. And you can simply alter the timing of when that point comes in. By the way, um, usually by default, you are gonna see this volume keyframe here where you can adjust the volume. If you don't, right click on your clip here and go down to show clip keyframes into volume and then make sure that that level right there is checked and you should see this line. If you don't see those levels and it looks like your sequence is just a little bit too small, just grab that layer and drag it down and then you'll be able to see a little bit more detail. And this works the same way for fading out. You simply are going to hit your pen tool by clicking P, make a point here and make a point at the end where you want your music to fade out. And there you go. Now our music is gonna fade out at that point. So those are two quick and easy ways to fade your music in and out in Premiere Pro. I hope that this tutorial has helped. If you have any questions at all, leave them for me in the comments below. Thanks guys.